All right, we have one more type of problem to do here. We're going to change these vectors, and we're going to change the vector w to a magnitude of 8 and a direction of 3, negative 2. So let's go ahead and see what this is going to look like. We want to write this, write this vector, this magnitude, this direction. Well, let's see what this direction looks like first off. 1, 2, 3, negative 2. So we're going to go out here to right there, and there's that vector. It's going 3 and that way. Well, obviously, this does not have a magnitude of 8, so we need to take this direction and make it a magnitude of 8. All right, well, let's see here. What do we have right now? 3 by 2, um, that would be a squared plus b squared, that'd be 9, that'd be root 13. So right now, I have the distance of this is root 13, right? That's how long the vector is. I need to multiply it by some scalar, I'm going to put an s, and it needs to turn into an 8, right? Because right now it is root 13, but it needs to be 8. So I'm going to multiply it by this number. Well, 8, root 13 times what is that? Well, divide both sides by root 13. All right, that's what I have to multiply by. I have to take this vector right here and multiply it by this number. All right, I could clean that up a little bit and make that um, 8 root 13 over 13 just by rationalizing it. And here we go. I'm going to take each one of these distances, multiply it by this. The first one would be a 24 root 13 over 13 and negative 16 root 13 over 13. And that is my new vector. This vector is going in the same direction all I've done is I made it larger to get to 8. Same direction, larger to get to 8. And the key is you have to figure out what this scalar is. What do you have to multiply by to make it longer? All right, let's do one more of those examples here. All right, we need a vector w in this direction with this magnitude. Let's go ahead and draw this direction. 1, 2, 3, 4. Whoops, 1 is up here. So there's my vector. It's going negative 4, 1, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. That would be um, 16 plus 1 is root 17. That's the distance. Um, do I want to take that root 17, multiply it by some scalar, and turn it into 10? Well, that's what I'm multiplying it by that crazy number right there. Let's clean this number up. 10 root 17 over 17. And now I'm going to take all of these and multiply them by that. So I just like to do this notation. I just, I just write this here and put times 10 root 17 over 17. It is negative 40 root 17 over 17 and a 10 root 17 over 17. And that is my new vector. Same direction. It's still going negative than positive. But now if you use these larger numbers, right, these are larger numbers than up here, you're going to get this larger magnitude. Instead of being just root 17, it's going to be all the way up to 10. Now, one thing you want to be careful of, um, there is no simplifying in the stuff that I did, but you'll, you'll get some numbers that simplify down and get some uh, maybe cleaner numbers than these ones right here. So just take your time. Make sure you can simplify them. All right. Again, what will we have done? We have taken vectors that were short, multiplied them by a scalar, so we get the right magnitude that we're looking for.